So you're probably hearing a lot about bonds right now, and that's kind of the side effect of what's been happening these past few years with interest rates. My name is Gordon Gottsagen, and today we're talking about bonds. Bonds are basically a loan. And when you invest in bonds, you're the one who's financing that loan. Whether it's the federal government, a local government, or sometimes a corporation will look to raise money. And they'll do that by issuing bonds. These bonds allow groups to raise money and use that money to finance certain projects. But on the investor side, it's a way to make income. People like to invest in bonds because they get regular interest payments. It's a reliable source of income. And at the end of the loan date, so the maturity, that's when people get the money that they've invested back to them. When it comes to investing in anything, all the brokerages, every financial company will tell you that returns are never guaranteed. Stocks go through wild fluctuations every day. Some stocks kind of stay at the same level. Other ones will be really volatile and go up and down. With bonds, you're playing a little bit more of a safer game. You're getting those regular interest payments and you're also assuming that your money is gonna come back at the end of that loan. That's not to say that some stocks might be safer than certain bonds and some bonds might be a little bit more volatile. The Fed has been raising interest rates in order to get inflation under control but a side effect of this is the interest that you make off of loans is now higher. So it's more expensive to take out loans, but it's also more profitable to be the one who provides a loan. So this is what's happening with bonds. The bond yields have gone way up as interest rates have gone up. And as a result, people who haven't really looked at bonds or looked at them with as much interest are buying them. Interest rates haven't been this high since around 2007, which means like if you're a millennial investor or someone who's relatively new to investing, it's been a long time since you can get attractive yields on bonds, which means a lot of people are discovering this asset class for the first time. There are a few different ways to get access to bonds. You can go to Treasury Direct, you can go down the issuer route of buying a bond directly from the person who issues them. Or you can get exposure to bonds through some different type of investment vehicle, whether that's a mutual fund or an ETF. Some of these funds will hold bonds themselves as an underlying asset. And when you buy into that mutual fund or that ETF, you're getting exposure, but it's not you directly who owns the bonds. Um, that's the financial group that put together that fund for you. And there are a few reasons why you would want one versus the other. Owning bonds directly gives you a little bit more control, but the price it takes to invest can be a little bit higher. ETFs can offer maybe a more affordable way to invest in bonds, and they can give you exposure to different types of bonds, whether that's short dated, long-term treasuries bundled together, or different types of corporate bonds. If you want your own flexibility to pick and choose and rebalance your bond portfolio, you might want to invest directly. But if you just want exposure, you want someone else to do the work, then it's worth looking at mutual funds or ETFs for bond investing. And for more about bonds, check out this week's episode of the On Watch by Market Watch podcast with Jeremy Owens.